Lord, I said, yeah. the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise him up to be strong? I don't, I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they are follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shine, they ought to love one another. Are they doing it? Right? And we have been given consequences all throughout the Bible. 
But because we don't realize that this verb was all, because we don't realize that we are Israel, we think we can live a successful, a successful life being American. We think we can have a successful life being black. When all the stars pop down in that face, all the stars pop drugs to all the stars, all the stars pop, don't say get money, get money, God's crime. We have sold out our morality. We don't have morality. We don't have morality anymore. We don't have love for one another anymore. What we have is love for American culture. We want, we want to live the life of the oppressed. We want to live the life of the other nation. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. But it shall come to pass. The thing about this Bible, we've been told by that Christian church that this Bible is full of fairy tales. Right? We've been told by the Christian church that a woman can have a baby without laying down and having sex. We've been told all these fairy tales in the Bible. Right? We've been told Christ is a demigod. Christ is Devin Percy Jackson. Christ is half God, half man. But right now, if any of you want to go home, have to pop up with a baby and say it would be it, 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 it massive, right? That it just came out of the sky. Nobody will believe it because we know it's not true. But following Christianity, we believe these fairy tales. We believe these faiths. And as a result, we don't believe what's inside this Bible. We don't believe in real consequences by you breaking the laws of God. We don't think that God actually gave us the man to follow these laws and statutes. We, we don't believe that. We take it off. When it's not out so when the Bible says it shall come to pass, let's let you know, oh, this don't happen. It's going to happen. Keep reading. Keep reading. It says, thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. That word hearken means to listen. If you weren't going to listen unto the voice of the Lord thy God, there was going to be consequences for you not listening to the voice of God. But nothing big problem with that lying Christian church. Our people walk around here, demons. Our people walk around here, man. We actually believe that God is talking to us, right? We go into that live church thinking that God is speaking to us, which is a lie. When He's talking about here or hearkening to the voice of the Lord, you know how they heard the voice of the Lord through Moses. That's how they heard the voice of the Lord. Right? Just like we are here talking now with the priest. Of the Israelite school, a universal practice not in the right now. This is the voice of the Lord. You hear the voice of the Lord. But we want to think that the voice of the Lord is some miraculous thing that we can hear inside of our head. And it just so happens that that voice inside your head that you do every evil, wicked, lustful thing you want to do. That's not God. That's the devil that you celebrate. That's the devil that you worship. That's American culture. That you, that you hear inside your mind. This is why we get high. This is why we leave our wonder. This is why we in the lowest state that we in. Right. We think we talking to God. But really you talking to your damn self. Right. You're not talking to God. God told us what to do. God don't change. God don't switch up like we switch up. God don't change with the time like right. we been talking. Right. God is the beginning and the end. He don't have to change up. He doesn't have to evolve. So if he said, don't eat shrimp, crab, shrimp, or lobster, that never goes away. You can never eat, ever. If he said you can't eat pork, it don't matter if the oppressor comes back. He is say, I don't understand, that's the other white meat. It's okay now. We got science now. God don't give a damn about American science. God don't give a damn about no FDA. If he said you can't eat, you can't eat. Period, point blank. But that parable is told you to do whatever you want. All you gotta do is pray. So when the scripture in Deuteronomy 28, 15, when it says it shall come to pass, just let you know that it's gonna, that it's gonna happen. And when it says that thou shalt hearken, that word hearken means to listen. We have to listen to the word of the most to the voice of the most high. To observe, to all this command, to observe. That church that you, well, it's just so many Christians we come in contact with. First thing they're going to say is, oh, I know that Bible. I know that Bible. I'm, I'm sister such and such, deacon and such and such. You know, I've been in the church for the last 20, 30 years. I'm on the mother board. I'm on the deacon board. And so they tell us, whoever now, they know that Bible. And they lying. They don't know what's inside that Bible. 
They don't know. They have no idea what's inside that life. We think from the other uh, result of the church, we think that God loves everybody. How can that be anybody out here right now? God loves everybody. He's going to give you that good Christian ass. Of course he does. And that's a damn lie. That's right. not in the Bible. Right. God loves the children of Israel. God loves black, Latino, and Native American Indians. Right. He don't love nobody else. Right. Nobody else. Right. We have the only, we worship and serve the only that is true God. Everybody can be in God and mimic our God. Everybody can be in and mimic to be us. We have a, we got a real God. And he came with real responsibility. He gave us real command. Law and statutes were supposed to follow. The reason why all these nations come in and eat off of us, devour off of us, is because we don't serve and worship our God. We serve and worship America. We serve and worship Yeah, Babylon is falling